Hi, I'm talking about why you should practice before your laser vision correction surgery. It doesn't matter what type you have. Uh, it, the results are better if you look at the fixation light. It's going to be a blinking LED light that you're supposed to look at. 30 years ago, when we first started doing this, uh, we were numbing up the eyes or holding the eyes in place. It didn't work out that great because the center of your visual axis is not actually the anatomic center of your eyeball. So it's better if the patient looks at the light rather than the surgeon trying to center it on the anatomic center of the eye, which is not the optical center. Anyway, you have to open both eyes and not blink. You will be numb, so don't worry about having to blink. You must desensitize. Uh, it's especially important for the people who don't wear contacts. Even the patients who wear contacts, they should try that. So you have to have a friend, not yourself, poke the lashes of your eyes. It's not brushing the lashes, it's poking the lashes because you're supposed to prevent yourself from flinching or squeezing or jerking your head away. So you have to get to the point where someone else besides yourself can do this and you can consistently just ignore it like I'm doing. I have practice because I wore contacts for 20 years before I got at least sick in this eye. Uh, I stopped doing LASIK afterwards because then I got dry eyes and night glare, which is intrinsic to the LASIK cutting procedure. That's when I switched to LASIK, okay? So this eye, I was actually the only doctor in the world to laser himself, and that's because I did the non-cutting procedure. I did to show that the non-cutting is so safe that it could be done by the surgeon himself. It was covered by a bunch of media. Um, I've even been on like Discovery Channel. Anyway, you have to practice holding both eyes open. You should probably cover one at a time because you're only going to be seeing out of one eye, but you have to keep this eye open even though you're covering this. So you open really wide. If you open wide, you won't feel the speculum that keeps your eye open. If you blink or squeeze, you're going to feel uncomfortable or maybe a little pain even because we numb up the eyeball, but we don't numb up the lid. So you have to open wide so the speculum is just a little reminder. Cover one at a time. Keep both eyes open, even the one that's covered. And just have someone basically jab their finger on your lashes and you can't blink or flinch. And then you do it every day for a couple of minutes before you have the procedure. And then during the procedure, it's going to be very comfortable. I won't have to wait for you to get ready. It won't be blinking, feeling the speculum. And most importantly, your eye is going to be centered on the laser for the best possible outcome. These days, if you choose the high definition LASIK procedure, we can often get you seeing better than glasses or contacts because it's actually a more accurate prescription. We're getting some of our patients better than 2020. Anyway, don't forget to practice and the day of surgery is going to be better for you and for me. Thanks. Okay, so you have to open both eyes wide. Don't blink or squeeze. Um, definitely look at the center of the blinking light. Sometimes it's like a little blob because you're not wearing your glasses or contacts. In that case, you should look at the bottom edge of the blob. And don't close or blink. Blinking right now is just a reflex or a habit. You don't need to blink. You don't feel the conscious physical sense to blink because your eyes numb, okay? So just open both eyes wide. Don't blink and stare. Have a staring contest at the blinking red light. And it's really about mm, a minute per eye. It's about 10 seconds per day after. So if you're minus three prescriptions, it's about 30 seconds per eye. If it's a plus prescription, a little bit longer. So if it's like plus two, it's 40 seconds. But anyway, unless you have a really bad prescription, it's going to be less than a minute. And I'm sure you can do it. Just practice doing it now.